Full disclaimer, I chugged a massive amount of coffee right before filming this video. There is so much energy in this intro. I don't know how, Hello, I don't know why, but Annie, here we go. And, and, and we're in a pandemic and I'm a little unstable. Um, obviously the right answer would to be, would be to, you know, buy some developer, get some bleach, get some lavender hair dye and just chop off my hair. Um, yeah, I thought like, I thought it'd be a good change. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit pretty boring right now. I've had the same hairstyle since like the seventh grade um, for the one exception of whenever I decide to grow out my bangs and then it looks like it looks whack. Um, and the other time was the only other time I dyed my hair. I was around 14 or 15. Um, and I, I was at a sleepover with one of my best friends and her big sister drove us to a beauty supply store um, without telling the parents. And, and we just, we just did it overnight, quietly in her bedroom. Um, I had chopped my hair up to around here. Basically was a bowl cut. Not doing that today, thank goodness. Um, and I had dyed it peach. And uh, yeah, basically woke up the next morning, showed it to the dinner table. Not the dinner table, the like dining table for breakfast. And, and we were like, surprise! Um, yeah, they weren't too happy about it, but I was in California at the time. My mom was in Minnesota, so she couldn't she couldn't do anything if I, if she if she really wanted to. To be honest, um, like what was she gonna do? You know. But when I did get back to Minnesota, she made me like dye my hair back to brown for school, which is whack. Um, but yeah, I guess the only difference this time is that I won't have the thrill of like doing something I'm not supposed to because I'm in college now, and like that just doesn't exist like I can just I can just go do anything and not have permission from anybody um but nonetheless it's going to be a good time I think the change is going to be nice I'm also helping a friend with a short foam right now and we thought the like the hair change would be good for the character a little different a little look and yeah oh oh by the way um I had a I had a TikTok go viral kind of recently um where I like invited a bunch of people um to come to a documentary screening that was on Zoom to spite my boss because we were having a little bit of beef. Um, I'm bringing it up because if you're watching this, because you found me from that TikTok video, um, hello, nice to meet you. I'm gonna go chop my hair off now, so. We're in the midst of cutting my hair. Vibes. We're doing a little montage. This is fun. This looks good. No, this looks like good. This looks so good. Wow. I think this is good. I like it. It Yay! gives that, that like edgy vibe that right? still like works with my face. Hi y'all. I'm go. I'm in the midst of bleaching my hair. Um which is fun. It's already definitely working, which kind of scares me. But it's okay. No worries. Um it should be chill. I am just combing through basically. Bleach. Hopefully it will spread to all my hair strands. Just pop it in more bleach. Alrighty. Um, so I separated it into six strands so far. He only likes her because she's old. She's probably like 25! Oh, he's just a fat ass white girl, you know? I think you mentioned she was fat. She's got a head start! I mean, I didn't even know there was good music until like two months ago. Hey, this really burns. You should rinse. When I got this idea, I just thought, I have to do it! I can't hear anything you're saying. Oh, God, did I look so good? So guess who filmed um, none, of, none of the rest of my dyeing process for my hair? Um, it is the next morning, which is fun, um, obviously, but my hair looks like this now. And basically, um, I'll just like run through it. I, um, I bleached my hair, obviously. I used a powder bleach, mixed it with um, a one to two part of 30% um, volume developer, both by L'Oreal and I know. Um, split my hair into six chunks and tie them up. Um, and then just, and then after I did my entire head, I went back and did the roots. And I washed that out, dried my hair. It was a little bit darker than I wanted it. So I bleached it a second time using the same process. Left it in for about 40 minutes the first time. And then I'd say about 20 minutes the second time just because I was scared that it would be like burning my scalp because it's literally like just stripping all the color from my hair and then likewise like stripping all the natural oils from my scalp and then I 
shampooed it with some purple shampoo, um, which I heard was good, left it in for like 10 minutes to tone, and then I did the dye, so we did the same kind of six section technique, left it in for about 15 minutes with a shower cap on and processed it with a hair dryer because that's what the um, bottle instructions said to do. Um, and then I blow dried it and I stayed up until four in the morning just staring at my hair. As you can see, it's kind of like patchy right now. Like the, this front area is definitely more lavender, more purple. Then this back area, it's a little bit much like warm toned, silver orange, hasn't been toned all the way. Um, so I think I'm gonna go back in with the, the lavender hair dye again, just to get a little bit more consistent color. But right now, like if I, if I run my hair through, run my finger through my hair, you can kind of see the, the purple underneath, kind of like a, one of those e-girly hairs where they just dye the bottom, the bottom, um, half, but I don't know, maybe I'll do that after, after I re dye my hair purple again. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be super fun this Christmas, cause I'm, I'm not home right now, um, but I will be going home for Christmas, and I will be the one who pulls up with purple hair, um, a journalism major, just defending the media, and a cinema minor, and a minor in gender and sexuality studies, which is really fun to be that being, that combination of a human being during an election year. Um, but other than that, I'm currently eating spaghetti. Um, I, I'm i kind of unstable today, I'm not gonna lie. My mental health is a little, you know, a little shaky. But, um, so I decided to make spaghetti for breakfast, granted it is like 1 p.m. But I've, I've been staring at the spaghetti for a while, I ate a little bit of it, um, and now it's just sitting here, which is fun, which is good, but I keep just looking at my hair. Like, look at that, look at that. So yeah, I mean, everything's temporary. Wow, that was a big claim just to like throw out there. Um, but tell me I'm wrong, cause I'm not wrong. Like I'm not wrong. Um, so I don't know, dye your hair, nothing matters. Um, like I could be studying for my midterms, not my midterms, my finals and like write my three papers that are due very, 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 very soon. Um, but will I still graduate? Likely. Um, so I will dye my hair. I'm sitting also directly in front of a window right now, so the light is going like right onto my hair, right onto my face. It, if I bring it into like a more um, like regular lighting, it looks darker. It looks almost brown um, with kind of like a purple hue to it, obviously. Um, but I mean, overall, I'm happy with it. This looks so cool. I feel like a fairy. This is so terrible. I just keep brushing it to see that like wave of purple. Like I definitely know why people dyed their hair the way they did over the summer with the bottom half. I was like, that's just so fun. You just like, wow, color. 